Coming up next on Nick at Night, weeknight update with Ellie Mueller. Then, the wee hours with Craig Knightley. Followed by, movie night with Will DeVacus. That's next on Nick at Night. Straight from the YouTube dojo where Ricky Gervais will never visit. Wait, huh? It's week now out there with Ellie Mueller, and now a man who thinks that Ricky Gervais is a huge liar, aside from being horrible and mean, of course, <laughs> Mr. Ellie Cunny Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week now out there. I am Ellie Cunny Mueller. What's up, my guys? <laughs> Unlike uh, Ricky Gervais, I'm a really nice guy. Alright? Speaking of uh, kindness and being nice, Let's do a shower spotlight uh, thing, huh? Giant shower spotlight winner, so I expect Spyro Ken with his fan edits. He's really good at that. Death Hour 9 uh, plays video games and does sketches and other things. Lex Box with his uh, gameplays. You know what? He's, he's going to be on and off of YouTube, uh, but he's still pretty cool. The Anthony Pente show with his reactions and his lyric analysis. Programmed. Am I on Gaffy with the singing covers? He's really good at singing. Uh, singing, excuse me. Michael's I cast this I Michael program, and pretty soon his I Michael movie. You know, you gotta check it out because a lot of uh, people, you know, on this uh, program will also be uh, a part of his movie. So there'll be huge parts of the movie. So you know, uh, there's that. Rebecca K. Onetta slash Swaggy Vortex Seven Three Three V A Studios. I don't know how. Uh, I can describe her. You know, is she uh, a voice actress? Is she a composer? Is she a singer? Is she a comedian? All the above. Yes, all the above. Emotional Firefly is 97. Uh, she's random, but uh, she's also uh, quirky and cool. And Plurry Gate 2 exclamation mark. He's great at, you know, uh, you know announcing. You know, he also dances from time to time. He also loves game shows and you know, he's, he's in a little bit of a tight bind right now because he's uh, moving from place to place. But, you know, I'm pretty sure that he will surprise you uh, one of these days. I'm telling you. He can do that. You know, now, we're talking about Ricky Gervais tonight. A guy who thinks that he is awesome. Well, spoiler alert, <laughs> no he isn't. He recently told someone that he's not a horrible person. Really? I mean... Did he even look at his old work? Huh? Nah. I don't think so. Now he's been doing a lot of writing lately. As a matter of fact, he's done with all the scripts for the third season of Afterlife. Now Netflix told him to get up and go back to work. Good work, Netflix. Of course, uh, he'll leave you before next year, though. So... There you go. Now, every Friday, around this time, we would usually give you another installment of Adam's Corner, and tonight is no exception. Let's take a look at this, and remember, it's going to be ridiculous. It's time for Adam's Corner. This will be weird, ridiculous, and a little nuts. So, your discretion is advised. Hit it! Action! Welcome to my musical abode! Hey, what are you doing them both? Ricky Garminias! Now, uh, listen up. I can tell by experience. Because his name is Ricky. Let's get into the notes of Adam's Corner. Alright, let's see. He said that he's not nasty, horrible, or so. What did I just say? He's a jackass! And what is he trying to disprove off the bat? That he's not a jackass! What does that mean, folks? He's out there? Hey! Horrible! Or me! Actually a nice guy. Let's roll the dice! He is the man who created a show on Netflix in, in, entitled Afterlife. I don't know what the hell an afterlife is, but back in my day it was called a ghost! Or a spirit! He had written every th third season episode of After. I don't give a fuck. He's a now he come in who swear. I knew it! He is a giant ass. I gonna smell it in my Tim's! Wow, 
those are words to live by. I hope that you know that uh, bit uh, didn't uh, freak you out or make you cringe. You know what? Let's do a top eight list. Let's see what the MP has in store for us this time. What's your category tonight, MP? Tonight's category, Top 8 Topics that Ricky Gervais could tackle the next time that he's on stage. Number 8, Mud. Number 7, Skunks. Number 6, Elephants. Number 5, Viral Videos. Number 4, Horrible Dancers. Number 3, Fish. Number 2, Armpits. And number 1, The Electric Eels. Really? And I came up with that, huh? Oh my goodness. I don't know what is going on, but thank you very much, MP. We got more after this. You're still watching Week Naughty, as the kids like to call it. Now, here it is, your Bob the Night. <laughs> Did you wash the dishes? Oh, yeah. Did you read my story? Totally. Did you want the rest of my food? Yes, I would like that. You're wide awake. Hour after hour passes and still no sleep. And you wouldn't have it any other way, because you're a super achiever. Getting an early start on tomorrow, tonight, with Nick at Night Overnight. Let the slackers sleep while you spend quality time with quality shows. Hit sitcoms that will help you face the new day with a fresh perspective and a smile on your face. Nick at Night Overnight. It's why more and more Americans are getting by on less and less sleep. looks terrific and you're almost finished just about there mr kimstead i can't believe you're here and the carpeting is already in it was only three days ago that i had the idea to call uh empire empire of course it was a stroke of genius i remember dialing uh 5882 300 5882-300, yeah they came right out that very night you know they brought every kind of nice carpet from 695 a yard 695 including padding and installation that's professional installation and they approved our credit right away. You know, we don't have to make an installment payment for 60 days. That company, um, Empire, Mr. Kimstead, Empire, they even gave us a free Bissell rug shampoo because we bought two rooms of carpeting. You want carpeting? You call Empire. Empire. They're at 588-2300. I'm sure glad I thought of it. 588-2300, Empire. Call right now, Empire, the Carpet King. Did you wash the dishes? Oh yeah! Did you read my story? Totally! Did you want the rest of my food? Yes, I would like that. Scott and the boys, yes. How are you doing tonight, Ed? Doing fine. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Not too long now. From uh, Christmas and the end of the year. Yes, I know. But we still got to uh, deal with uh, the topic of tonight's program. You better believe it. we're talking about Ricky Gervais. And without any further ado, it's time for the random report. And now it's time for the random report. This morning it's all about Ricky Graviras. 
from somewhere outside of Comedy Central Studios, where Ricky Gervais is hiding this year's Christmas presents from the Nick at Night employees, it's the Random Report. And now, the Nick at Night detectives who are going to catch Ricky Gervais and solve this mystery. Michael, Leroy, and Marina. Thank you so much. Good morning. Welcome to the Random Report. I'd just like to say this. Who are those Christmas presents for Ricky? Anyway, I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. And I'm Marina. Ricky Gervais recently told a random podcasting personality that he's not as nasty or as selfish or as horrible as people have called him. It's hard to take seriously since I've seen him on TV before. Meanwhile, Ricky just finished writing scripts for season three of his current show, Afterlife, and it's a big hit on Netflix. Hold on here. How does Netflix decide whether a show stays on the air or gets canceled? They use points. If a show gets more than 100 points, then it stays on the air. What happens if it doesn't get any points? Well, not only does it get pushed off the air, but Netflix then burns all the episodes so it can never be seen again. That's crazy. Yes, it is. Now it's time for some random poetry with Dave Passions and Miss Becky. Ricky Gervais claims to be nicer than people describe him to be. Well, it's hard to take him seriously because of how he behaves on TV. He's writing a show for Netflix, but I don't see why. Netflix went down the toilet. They might just let his career fry. Are you kidding me? This will never go well. Wait a minute. Did you hear a bell? Yes, that means it's time for this poem to end. Who's ringing that bell? Hey, look! It's a good friend! It's me, George Thompson. I'm sorry I'm late. I just didn't want to ruin your date with poetry. A date? George, you're pretty loopy. You're insane. You're acting like Snoopy. Hold on, I want to be a random poet too. Ricky Gervais should be in a zoo. Reciting poetry is harder than riding a bike. I didn't think you were being serious about it, Mike. Come on, I've wanted to do this for like years. Just give me a chance. After all, it's easier than having a dance. Okay, that's enough. Come on, wrap this up before our bosses get rough. Is this just me, or has this episode of The Random Report been the weirdest ever? Huh, you're telling me? I've rhymed so much this morning Ooh. that if I recite one more poem, I'll explode. Both figuratively and literally. Exactly. And like I said before, it's time to get out of here. So, for The Random Report, I'm Luther. I'm Marley Carson. I'm George Thompson. I'm Miss Becky. I'm Dave Passions. I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. I'm Marina. And I'm Greg Stevenson. Keep running. And Ricky Gervais, don't lie about who you are. We all know how you've been acting. Good night, and good morning, everybody. This has been the Rent Report. Now back to the weeknight updates Ricky Gervais Spectacular. Then stay tuned for the stars of Nick at Night, and all of the new stories about your favorite Nick at Night stars. After that, the wee hours will roll around with Craig Knightley and his guest Ricky Gervais. That's all coming up next on Nick at Night. <laughs> The Random Report was taped in front of a live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando at Universal Studios Florida. There are 57 kinds of ketchup, millions of stars shining bright. There's a thousand ways to lose your mind, but there's only one Nick at night. Alright, that was fun, wasn't it? Let's have some fun and have some talking time. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. 1808, BBC, before you before your common era. That's when all the chickens and lickens came together and they invented talking time. Now, keep in mind, the chickens and lickens at that time, they were no bigger than your average zit or pimple. But now, because of what they did on that fateful uh, day in 1808, BBC, before you before your common era, at 8.08 and 8.04 in the a.m. p.m. morning, afternoon, evening, night time, all times of the day. Because of what they did at that time, you know, everything in this world has changed. And now, the kittens and lickens are normal size. And, this uh, song I'm about to uh, give the William Shatner uh, treatment uh, on is... It's synonymous uh, to uh, talking time. Talking time! Talking time! English, Spanish, or even French. 
talking time. Talking time. The only cure for sadness. Yeah, I know. William Shatner uh, is not too happy about that, and I'm sorry. But what can you do? Now, Ricky Gervais said that he's not a horrible, nasty, or uncaring uh, person. You know, despite the fact that people have been uh, taking uh, his jokes a little too seriously lately. You know, it's hard to really, you know, uh, pay uh, too much attention to him when he has a full-grown beard and hair longer than Billy Ray Cyrus's hair. I mean, seriously. You know, it's ridiculous. On the Conan O'Brien's podcast a while back, he said, I think I, I've got a reputation that's sort of like a shock jock. Or I don't care what I say. Or I don't care about people's feelings. Which is, that is total, which is, that's totally untrue. That's what he said. Now, when he also uh, continued, I don't want people to think I'm horrible, nasty, or uncaring because I'm not. I feared fame because of all those reasons. And I'm like, really? You were neither of those things before you got famous. So, come on now. And yet, uh, people are still uh, referring to him as, uh, as a version of the character he played on The Office. Not the US version, but the UK version. You see, here's the thing, right? You know, uh, for those of you who don't know, The Office was not only uh, a huge hit in the US, but it was also huge in the UK. You know, it's, you know Ricky Gervais was UK's version of Steve Carell. Only difference is, Steve Carell is louder and kinder than uh, Ricky Gervais is. So, there you go. He said, I come out and do a joke and I say, that was irony. And he said, that's when I say something I don't really mean. And I'm like, really? Okay, so what he kn okay, so he knows what comedy is, and yet he's still being ruthless and cruel. Hmm. I gotta say this, you know what? Uh, times have really changed. I'm serious. You know, they have really changed. Now, here's another interesting thing. Okay, you know. He is the writer and somewhat of a uh, co-creator of uh, the Netflix program called Afterlife. And he had just written the script for every single uh, episode of season three. You know. Now uh, he had uh, revealed uh, this past March that there will be a third season. You know, and uh, he said uh, many people have seen it and, uh, and made it number one, you know, twice. And I'm like, how do you do that? I mean, uh, besides, Netflix never releases its uh, ratings. So we don't really know that uh, so many people are watching uh, the show on Netflix. You know, if that was, let me just put it to, to you this way, okay? If it was on a regular television network, then you would easily know if the show is going to get another season or not. Alright? On Netflix, it's really hard to tell. But regardless, the people at Netflix uh, told them to, uh, to get up and uh, do another season. You know, the show, for those of you who don't know, it's a comedy drama series that that's, a, that's about a local newspaper writer who is grieving the, the lo, for the loss of his wife. You know, it's crazy, isn't it? And yet, he said that it might not be his uh, signature uh, program because, you know, uh, you know, he thought that, you know, like doing the show for longer than three years would be a little bit of a stretch. Really? 
Say that to a guy who has been doing this for almost 12, okay? I've been doing this thing for almost 12 years now, okay? And this is actually better than your show, all right? Come on, Ricky. Grow up, all right? Now, that is it for tonight's program. Adam's uh, sleeping, so that's why he didn't uh, come out. But what can you do? Now, I'll see you back here again on Monday when we start a whole nother uh, week of shows. And I am pretty sure that Monday's uh, program and all the shows that will uh, come after it will be pretty cool. All right. In the meantime, I just want to say, you know, stay tuned for the ending experiment because they're going to be a, a, there's going to be a whole lot of surprises in store. And trust me, <laughs> again, I apologize for some of the uh, the bloopers that have been uh, popping up here. All right, some of them uh, I was able to uh, take out right before this whole thing got out of hand, but. Uh, what can you do? Alright, that's the news. I'm out, skis. Bye well, bye for a while. Warning, this is your last chance to get uh, your auditions in for uh, Week Not Update if you want to be involved in uh, Week Not Update. Like I said, we're looking for comedians, actors, actresses, editors, co writers, you know, all those uh, people. You know, so far, Michael's I cast and I. Still haven't heard from any of you. Alright. Now you have until December the 16th. Which is a Wednesday. Alright. You. And not a moment uh, too soon. Uh, not a moment too soon. Not a moment uh, too late. Alright. Because if you get us uh, after December 16th. It's too late. Alright. So please. Please. Help us out. You know. I'm serious. Don't wait until the last minute. Because if you wait until the last minute, then uh, the big sketches will never get done. I'm telling you. You know, and once uh, the people who will be uh, leaving the show in January leave, that's it. You know, unless we get uh, some new people around. So, come on now. Help us out. Warning. What you're about to see might shock you and make you lose your mind a little bit. So... Of course, your discretion is advised, but also, please try to enjoy. It's Friday night. You're watching this show. That can only mean it's time for one thing. The Ending Experiments. And now, a special message from Dave Passion, a.k.a. Emmanuel Gaffey. Ricky Gervais thinks that he's not a bad guy. The critics know he's lying, and it makes the Eagles cry. And Mr. Gervais, please be nicer and don't be mean. And also, please do us a favor and keep your jokes nice and clean. And that was a message from Dave Passions, a.k.a. Emmanuel Gaffey. Alright folks, what makes Ricky Gervais mad? I'll give you time to think, but up, oh, time's up! These are things that will make him mad. TV, comedy, music, donkeys, trees, and sweat. Come on now, you gotta be faster than that. You gotta be faster. Action. Oh, listen up. What makes this giant ass happen? Check it. Slime. That's, that's number 15. Mud. That's number 12. 18.5. I think that's bad jokes. Number 1.5.5. That's armpits. Number 2. Egg yolks. And finally, the number 3. Worst thing. The thing that he likes. Apparently, the man makes him happy. Dirt. Yes, dirt. Do you really think that uh, Ricky Gervais would do this joke? <clears throat> if you see a monkey swimming in a sea of mud, then I don't think it would be wise for you to give the monkey a hug. Okay, that joke didn't make any sense, but still. He wouldn't uh, do that joke, right? Right? Come on, now. What we learned this time? We learned that Ricky, Ricky Gervais loves to lie about who he is as a man. 
We learned that Ricky Gervais loves to give up. And we also learned that Ricky Gervais stinks. Well, we're done. Enjoy your music, sleep well, and be well. I'll see you back here again on Monday. Peace out. And now, jazzing your stress away, it's the musical performance time. Hey, the holiday season is upon us. That means it's time for another Christmas song. This song is something that you probably have heard many times before during Christmas time. You know, it has been hummed on iCarly, it has been uh, hummed on, uh, on uh, the Charlie Brown uh, Christmas specials. It's a classic, so please listen, all right? <laughs> And now for uh, a peppier side of uh, Christmas. Wait a minute. Yeah, there we go. It's time for something peppy from our good friend, Emotional Fireflies 97. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. And I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need And I don't care about the presents Underneath the Christmas tree I don't need to hang my stocking There upon the fireplace Santa Claus will make me happy With a toy on Christmas Day I just want you for my own more than you could ever know make my wish come true all i want for christmas is you it's time to light nick at night's yule log go for joy for joy now i'm ready for dear old santa claus our regular lineup will be back tomorrow